Who are you? My name is Edgar Degas. I am an artist. What do you paint? Ballerinas. Young, female ballerinas. Lithe, supple, young, female ballerinas. I have not seen any ballerinas around. Oh, they're here, all right. One must only know where to look. You enjoy painting young females, monsieur. Don't you? Are you lost? Well, can you direct me to the ballet studio? I'm working on what will undoubtedly be considered a masterpiece after I am dead. I think if you go east, you will find it. Thank you, monsieur. I shall look in that direction. How do you know you'll be respected after your death? Ah, it is the way it always works, monsieur. Artists of my day are never appreciated until after their death. You should know, monsieur. You have seen the future. The future? How do you know that? What do you mean? Monsieur, the mysteries of the universe are not ours to explain. We must merely experience them and benefit from what they teach us. Adieu. Adieu. Feeling better, I hope. You look much better. You were very lucky, my friend. But let's get down to business. I have some things to tell you about our ghostly friend. Please update me on the Phantom's actions. I have a new note from him. It is the same handwriting as the previous note. What does the new note say? He wants Christine Day to sing the lead in the wedding of Isabel tonight, not Carlotta the star. Here's the note on top of the desk. Miss Christine Day shall sing the lead in the wedding of Isabel, not that toad, Carlotta. Please honor this request, or the tragedy that follows will be on your hands. What does the old note say? I told you about it last week. My, that bump on your head has really affected you. The ghost wants us to pay him a monthly salary and reserve one of the best boxes for him for every performance. The nerve! Here, read it yourself. It's in the tray. My payment of 20,000 francs shall be due the first of every month. Please give it to Madame Geary for placement in box 5, which shall remain unsold for every performance. Failure to comply with this request shall result in great misfortune. Which box does he reserve? Box 5? It's one of the best ones, too. We could sell it every night if we wanted. We never know when he will use it, so none of us have ever seen him. Madame Geary may have had some communication with him, though. Can I see Box 5? If it's not locked, you'll find it through the Loge Corridor. We have examined it thoroughly, I assure you. If the Phantom does go there, it is by pressing dig Prestis is by magic. Tell me about Madame Geary. She looks after the boxes. She is the one who finds the notes the ghost leaves for us, usually in box five. It is about time for her to report to work, so you may find her cleaning the boxes now. Odd woman, I might add, but she does her job. Tell me about Christine Day. What do you mean? Aren't you two, well, haven't you two been seeing each other? We have? Well, it seems to be the talk of the theater. Are you sure you don't need a doctor? 
<laughs> you cannot fool me, Raoul. I saw how you looked at her when you awoke. Typical Parisian, you. <laughs> Be nonchalant and matter-of-fact about it, eh? Well, what do you want to know about her? Where does she come from? I knew her father before he died. He was a brilliant violinist with the orchestra. They emigrated here from Scandinavia, I believe. After her mother died, she was studying ballet when one of the directors heard her sing. What is her job here? She was placed immediately into the chorus. She has had two minor parts since then. She has never sung the lead. Is she really a good singer? Yes, she is. I am not sure if she could sustain a leading role. She is still young and undisciplined. But she has gotten better and better just over the last few weeks. It is as if she acquired an outstanding teacher. She improved leaps and bounds in, really, a, a few days. Will she sing the lead in The Wedding of Isabel? Yes, I have agreed to it. Besides, Carlotta has mysteriously gained a throat ailment. Otherwise, she would have thrown a fit. A teacher? What do you mean? Practically daily she comes in with some new technique, or it seems she has learned more about emotion, or her voice seems much stronger. It's a number of things. Things only a trained musician could hear in her voice. Someone is teaching her, there is no doubt. Thank you, monsieur. I shall see you later. Adieu, Raoul. You take it easy now, oui? May I help you, monsieur? What are you selling? Tickets to tonight's opera. Would you like a box seat? An orchestra seat? A mezzanine seat? Or our economy seat? Nothing. Never mind. Fine. Adieu. Who might I be addressing? I am Mame Gary. I am caretaker of the boxes. I understand you have dealings with the Opera Ghost. Uh, yes, that is correct. Mind you, I have never actually seen him. He communicates to me by written messages which he leaves in his box. Surely you have seen some evidence of him? Once I peeked into the box during a performance. I saw the silhouette of a man sitting there. I was frightened because I expected the box to be empty. I quickly closed the door. After a minute or two, I gathered the courage to look again, and he was gone. What kind of written messages? He has left messages to the manager requesting this or that. He once left me a nice note of thanks for looking after his interests. Does he tip you? He tips me very well. Better than most of the gentlemen who pay for boxes. Then you have a monetary interest in protecting him. Monsieur, I resent your inference. I am a working-class woman trying to make a paltry living. I would naturally do my best for any patron who tips that well. The ghost has been kind to me, it is true, but I do not protect him. He can protect himself. Tell me about the Opera Ghost's personal box. Box 5 is the Ghost's personal box. 
He has used it ever since he first began haunting the opera. What is so special about Box 5? It offers a first-class view of the stage. The boxes in this area are among the best seats in the house. And you have never seen him enter or exit? Never. It is a mystery, but he uses it, I know. How do you think he gets into the box? He's a ghost. How should I know? Madame Giri, I believe you are hiding something. And I believe you are hiding something, Monsieur. I believe you are not what you seem. What do you mean by, I'm not what I seem? Monsieur, you are from another time and place. You do not know how you got here, and neither do I. But destiny is leading you to a dangerous cataclysm. I believe you have good intentions, but I must warn you that your adversary is quite cunning. Tell me more about what you see. Your soul is under the control of forces beyond our understanding. You will return to your own time and place when the unfolding play is completely enacted. And what is it that must be enacted? I do not know, Monsieur. I do not know. There are some items that will help you, and perhaps I can help. What are these items? Look for three items from your own time. How can you help me? I can unlock Box 5 for you, but I cannot do that until you have more control over your destiny. Find the items and I will unlock the box. Madame Giri, you know he is not really a ghost. I sense that you are a good man. No, he is not a ghost any more than you or I. But he has powers. Powers which I do not totally understand. He is quite intelligent, this Eric. He is one with the structure of this building. If you wish to find him, look to the structure itself. When did he first begin haunting the opera? It was really since it opened in 1875. I started working here in 1879. He has always been here to my knowledge. I heard tales that he was around during construction of the opera, and even during the time of the Commonards. Tell me more about his work in the construction. He used the time and space to build his own domain deep below the theater. I believe he may have protected his lair with puzzles and traps. What kind of traps? He gained much knowledge of diabolical traps and puzzles while he lived in Persia. I have heard tales of a puzzle with toggle switches which correspond with the 26 letters of our alphabet. I know nothing more. Do you know the key to these puzzles? I believe the key lies in the fact that the opera ghost is very vain. He thinks much of himself. The answers may be something very personal to the phantom. Adieu, Madame Geary. Adieu, Monsieur. Do not forget to find the items from your own time. I will let you into box five then. Be careful.